Hey guys, I'm here. I'm in the backyard of my sister Priscilla's house in Las Vegas. I'm with my grandma. I'm going to take my glasses off. So we're here hanging out in the backyard. What do you want to say to the people out there, grandma? I wish you were here. You'd see how lovely it is. Oh, there's a lot of people, though, hopefully, that are oh, watching this. A lot this. of people you probably know, too, but they all belong <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, kind of. Kind of gets to know them all. I look like an old fat lady. No, you don't. You're not fat. I'm big. No, you're not. I'm not. I'm not big. Here, let's see. Wait. Look, Grandma. You don't look okay. big. What are you talking about? You're beautiful. Oh. Melina, my sister, did a great job with your makeup. Yeah. Well, as long as you think I'm beautiful, that's all I care about. You want to go dancing? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of dancing in my life. Oh, yeah. gosh. He said, I want to go dancing. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of dancing in my young life, you know. So who were you just talking to? One of my grandsons. <laughs> oh, Grandma. Uh, okay, yeah. so what advice do you want to give to all my friends out there and all the people watching this? To all be the same as you are, have that beautiful face that says, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Tell them what they're when you bring here. If you don't, you don't tell them welcome. But you have a good life. Could you start it with a good life? And what advice would you give to all advice the young whippersnappers out there? Because you were born in 1921. That's September right. of 1921. You're 91 years old, mm -hmm. and you're still kicking. You're still dancing. Absolutely. And what to remember always is to enjoy your life. Be glad the people that belong to you. So your family. And your, and of course they're all your family, and we all love each other very much. And this is. Something that everybody can say. And what advice would you give on love for all the oh, people love. out there that are looking for love? Love comes together by itself with someone that loves you and you love her. it. It, it's a her or a him. But love is very important. It makes your whole life worthwhile. Really? Do you have any love stories? Oh, yes, I had love stories. They're not to be told. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about life experiences? Oh, Do you have any... I don't have any experiences because I would never tell anyhow <laughs> if I did. <laughs> oh, no, I did have a good life. I had wonderful family. You still I, do. You're still alive. Yes, and I, and, and I still have it. still have my family right. and all my grandchildren. They're all so beautiful and so handsome, and they make such a beautiful, beautiful home. I'm very happy here. I'm happy with my family. I think that's the most important thing. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. I really am at uh, at peace with my family. That means love, love and right. peace go together. And God's been good to me. So you think the number one most important thing in the entire world is family? Why not? No, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree I mean, with I you. Really, if you have a good family, your whole life will be good. I agree I, with you, Grandma. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. See, that's my grandson. He said he agrees with me. Look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> Looks just like me. <laughs> so oh, I do have a wonderful family. Yes, you do, Grandma. So tell me about um, uh, growing up, like you were born in 1921. You went through a lot of things. Uh, well, you went through World War II. Oh, you, yes. And you had to deal with the Depression. I mean, do you have any memories that you want to share with us about that stuff? No, um, I don't think I ever want to see it again. And we all in the family belonged one way or another. We had respect for each other. We really appreciated that they were part of the big, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Us, when we were, when we were everything. The we were the people. <laughs> <laughs> we were people that loved each other. And life was, I think, great. There's nothing like love in your own family. So what about back in Italy? Tell me about the Italian days. Well, I never went there to live, even. I was Italian, but I only knew it by, by word. And I was in America, and I was glad I was here. I was glad I was Italian, too, because they had the best names here. <laughs> they did. Yes, yeah, well, yes, my, I have did. an Italian name. That's, a, that's my, you want to wear, me. you want to wear my glasses, Grandma? Here, no, put no, my glasses it, on. No, it, I want to uh, see what you look like with my glasses. Try them on. They're oh. sunglasses. Those are Michael Kors. <laughs> <laughs> see, now you guys see where I get my uh, personality from. That's right. <laughs> my they cool grandma. 
That's right. Sporting I Michael was. Kors. You still are. Yeah, that's right. I haven't forgotten because I have children that are just schooled. <laughs> so tell me about your dancing. Oh, well, I always loved to dance. Mm -hmm. I was good at it. I had to... I, I, what I mean, I was just born dancing, I do believe. And I never, never sat at a dance place. I was dance. And I was in hog heaven. No one was special to me, nor was I special to them. But we both liked to dance. And that was so important, really. And so I stayed happy while I was getting older. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden it hit me. I'm old. <laughs> you're not old, Grandma. You're young. Oh, oh, I am. No, I'm not old because I never will be. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I teach my children, my grandchildren, to be young. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to ask you. All right. Um, and I'll hmm. tell you if I'll tell, if I'll tell you. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Is there anything you just want to share? No. Nope. Everything's been very much at peace with me and my family, my children, then my children's children, mm -hmm. and I've had a, a perfect house, a life. A perfect life. I have wonderful children. I have wonderful grandchildren. If they're not, I want to hear it. <laughs> now, life's been good to me, and I've had a perfectly beautiful life. I really have. Thank you, Lord. So is there any advice that you would give all the young whippersnappers out there that take life Never for Never do anything that you wouldn't do if you could remember what you did. Because it's so important. Well, to never be do anything. No. Never be sorry of anything you ever did. Okay, never be yeah. sorry. So never do anything no. that you would be sorry for. That's right. Because life can be beautiful, always. Mine has been a beautiful life. I've had, uh, I think, two husbands, because one died. That's true. And, and I've loved them, and they've loved me, and I've loved the children we had. So I think that's love and life. If you love your own family and love what's around you and what you've done and what you haven't done. So basically what you're saying is the most important thing in life is family. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. I spend a tremendous amount of time with my family and oh, a lot I'm of friends. I'm so glad you hear that. that. They always say, oh, you know, where are you? Is. I'm like, I'm at my mom's house or I'm at my dad's house. Or, you know, I think it's important. Yeah. The number one well, I'm thing I'm glad you're family. saying that. It's so important because our, our families are our world. They're what we were. See, that's, that's the Italian blood in you. Absolutely. The deep Papino blood. The deep Papino blood. No Italian blood. There's a lot of nice Italian people. Deep Papino, kind of number one. <laughs> they are. They're wonderful people. And I've been blessed by them. And I've lived around them. And I've had a peaceful life. That's I important. Really so you're yeah. happy. Yeah. All right. Well, bye, guys. Bye, Say, you. Bye, you. <laughs> he belongs to us. Don't forget that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but you could share him if he says so. <laughs>